once, but we, we always very much appreciate the chefs coming down and uh, giving up the time, Good sharing course. their expertise with us. Um, <laughs> so we've got uh, Mr. Mooney here, who many of you will know, and uh, assist, ably assisted, or maybe led by Dan, we don't know. We don't Am know I these on, days. Yeah. I'm on. You are. I'm on. Can thank we you. give them a round of applause, please, just before they start? Thank you very much. Well, thank God the new moon company's turned up, because no bugger else has, have they? Come on. Right. Da are you allowed to operate those in Bake Up? They don't take your soul or your spirit. You know that, don't you? Perfectly normal and rational. You all gather around the Civic Hall and show the pictures back. Oh, that was lovely up there like England was in 1957. Right, this is Dan. Dan's actually going to be doing the cooking today because he does the cooking all day long. Um, right. It's his first time. Do you remember your first time? Yeah, nervous. He's a bit nervous, a bit scared. Thinks I'm going to shout at him. I won't. Not much. Right, so, New Moon Company. Seven sites in three and a half years. And we still managed to do a bottle of wine a day. Incredible. Well, not me, obviously. Um, have you tied that neckerchief yourself? That's impressive, that. I like a big knot. <laughs> Very good. What college are you at? You're not sure? <laughs> that place you go every day? Well, when you can be asked. This could be you one day. What are you doing now? Well, out there. It's taking over already. <laughs> Dan's one of our sous chefs over the road at Beef and Pudding, which is our Manchester site. Um, we also have uh, six others out and about, and I'm really, really pleased to announce our eighth site. We'll let you know. Which, well, who, which one is it? You know, who knows? Um, there will be a three more sites this year um, because um, we like what we do. So New Moon stands for sort of modern British cooking. I mean, you can see around you today, there's some fantastic producers. Um, we tend to stick with the guys that we've stuck with for years. How long have I bought your black pudding now? I mean, you had hair when I bought from you, and so did I, yeah. I was like that big as well, though, don't forget. He was six foot three when I first met him. Look at that. What, 25 years? 25 years, yeah. So. Andy, this is Andy Holt, by the way. We're going to be using his black pudding in a bit. I know there are other black puddings available. There are other black puddings available, but in my humble opinion, his are by far the best. I'd gladly eat a stick of his black pudding raw. I've seen what he puts in it. Tell us, come on, tell us what you put in it. Shout. Coot. Coot. Thank you. In Manchester now. How do I turn this on, Brian? Come on, speak up. Yeah, speak into there. Go on. Come on. Oh, is it going red? Oh, go on. Go on. Speak into there. We use um, cooked, 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 cooked pearl barley. Come on, quick. Uh, You're not in back onions, bacon now. Onions, rusk, oatmeal, herbs and spices. Herbs and uh, spices. Pork, back fat, uh, but most importantly, pig's blood. Pig's blood? Yeah. Fantastic. And that's all you ever put in, isn't it? That's it. Nothing else. No crap. No lips. No a-holes. Just pure good stuff, okay? That's what you need to remember. The worst things go in high street burgers, mentioning no names. Mackey D's. Oh, said that. Rude. Right, that doesn't work. You're out of luck, sorry. Doesn't even buzz. Right, let's get cracking. So the black pudding. Dan, yeah. go. Oh, right, no, I'm supposed to do this. Aren't I? Right, this is called a berry bomb. See what we did? Berry bomb, <laughs> black pudding, geniuses. We're going to call it a bake-up bomb, but you know. <laughs> so, in this we've got... Red peppers. Red peppers. I know what that is. Oh, red peppers, <laughs> red onions, which Dan is going to start cooking off now. That's the, fill, that's the sort of few little flavourings we put in there, because it's actually <laughs> quite good without us messing around with it. We don't have to mess around with it. It's fantastic stuff. So we're doing one, normally when we do these in the restaurant, we do about 20 at a time. When I say we. Me. Yeah, Dan, <laughs> mostly. And what we're going to do, we're going to do serve that with a little bit of HP sauce, but not our HP sauce. We all know what goes in HP, don't we? Molasses, anchovies, and secret stuff. So we've just made up our own, which is actually a lot nicer. 
he says. <laughs> so it's going to go with HP sauce, and it's going to serve on these. Why do all chefs love these? Can't you just serve <laughs> a bit of bacon? Oh, no, we've got to have crisp Serrano ham. Why? Because we've got to have crisp Serrano ham. Yeah, but why? Because it's crisp Serrano ham, and so on and so on. It's nice. Ponce is a lot of you. <laughs> it is nice, but it's not as nice. I mean, bacon, a bit of crispy bacon. Come on. So it's going to sit on that. And what Dan's going to do now, while that's cooking away, here's some he's prepared earlier. So all this is, is raw black pudding with cooked oats, brusque, right? So that's the black pudding and the cooked down peppers. You see now, it's only taken me like a minute to get out of the kitchen. Metaphor for life, that. Mm, that's lovely, because you get that lovely crunch and the peppers really nice and sweet. So all the natural stuff that Andy puts in the black pudding, we just enhance it a little bit and a little bit of seasoning. This is the thing young catering people, it drives me insane that people in catering don't use. Now, I have chefs that come to me and they've worked in places for 10, 15 years and they never use seasoning. It's the most basic requirement, but honestly, please season the stuff, it's so important. Right, so what we wanna put in the middle of this, which is almost as important as the black pudding, but obviously not quite, a little bit of this. Now, we've all got a favourite. It's like beer, isn't it? Everyone's got a favourite Lancashire cheese. Yeah? All that is is Lancashire cheese, salt and pepper. That. What do I do with this now, chef? Just leave it and I'll do it. <laughs> See? He's learning the new moon way already. Leave it and I'll do it. Love that. The next question is, do you want red or white? Just for future reference. White. Okay. Nice, that Serrano ham, isn't it? I don't think that's ham. Why don't people use it more often? <laughs> right, so, starters flying away. When I said flying away, Dan, that'd be like you to make it. Yeah. So, this little ball of there. So, what's going to happen when we finish this and cook it, when you open it, you're going to get this lovely molten Lancashire cheese oozing out. And is there anything better than Lancashire oozing? What do you call this, where you're from? Cheese. Cheese. Cheese with 14 E's. <laughs> no, that's your Saturday night, isn't it? Sorry, mate, I got them mixed up. Oh, water. Fruit of the gods. So, there's a very famous dish that Rob Owen Brown invented about with another 400 others called the Manchester Egg, which is a Scotch egg but made in Manchester with black pudding, right? So we thought we, we want to go on from that we made a more succulent middle because a hard boiled egg in black pudding you know so we're doing the using Lancashire cheese now we want to coat that we didn't want to use breadcrumbs so what we're doing is just using a little bit of hash brown not hash brown <laughs> just like a crispy potato so Dan's going to build that now and I'm going to get cracking on the starter uh, sorry on the main course this upsets me greatly <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys something I'm not that proud of. I'm going to make... I'm, <laughs> I'm going to make a vegetarian main course. <laughs> Sorry. I've got a restaurant called Beef and Pudding. Vegetarian suet pudding. Gorgeous. You know it. You know it. So, obviously, what we need to do is make the vegetarian suet paste. There are some fantastic vegetarian suets around. <coughs> Honest. Aren't they, Dan? Loads. We love the vegetarian suet, don't we? Yeah. No way is it any different in taste to the beef one at all. So, come on, Dan, chop, chop here. Where are we getting behind oh, here? Loads. We might have to have a little break halfway through for popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> so what Dan's just done there, he's just dried off the... Um, the grated potato, and he's going to season it. Are you finished your wine tutoring now? Finished? Yeah, you, what you tell them? You've seen your wine by well, That one? Yeah, well done. Hiya. These are no depths that you will, you will not stoop to. I'm assuming you brought me and Paula glass back. We need to talk, actually. I have pictures. It's an unusual tattoo, isn't it? 
Is this enough? Too much? Where are we play? We are we all right still, or you know, still okay to go home for Mother's Day? Or yeah? okay, good. Right, where are we at? <coughs> He's put his gloves on now, so he must be doing something mucky <laughs> and cooking. Just so if you see up, now, man. he's just working the black pudding mix that we've made around that gorgeous Lancashire cheese. There you go. See? Well, do you keep your, do you keep your gloves nice and moist? Yeah. That's a middle-aged man Sorry. speaking there, isn't it? <laughs> Please moisten the gloves. So that then gets wrapped in the crispy potato. And that's that done. Oh, sorry, he has to pan it first. <laughs> Flour, egg and breadcrumbs, I remember that. First thing I did at college, that, there's big Romans at the front there teaching you how to cook in an open cauldron. See how he's just working that round now and just mashing it in. And that'll just get into the fryer and then it'll get put through the oven. And because health and safety won't let us have a fryer, <laughs> like that's going to stop us burning the place down. <laughs> should we plate that up first or should we plate it all up at the end? Up to you. It's up to me. Yeah. You're learning. You're the boss. <laughs> Always good. Always good. Right. So I get the uh, other bit done. Yeah. Uh, talk me through it, big boy. It's your recipe. That's quite a hot pan. Spinach what? in first, mushrooms Spinach in first. In, mushrooms in first. They're the brown ones, aren't they? Yeah. What we got here? Just a mix of chestnut and oyster. Chestnut and oyster, yeah. Sweat that down. Season it. Chester oyster, <laughs> Chester oyster and magic. Everyone always loves this dish. Oh, did you season because I said season before? I do it all the time. Oh, you're <laughs> This cooker here is off a yacht. <laughs> True? Suitable for a it's yacht. It's got storm bars, so if we have one of them cyclones or anything, guys, don't worry, I can carry on cooking. We're all good. <laughs> oh, I've never been on a yacht. Is that the one we sailed? Is that a yacht? Why, why, why are you there now? Good question, this nice is, link. This is creeping stalking, this. Let, let me explain for those of you that perhaps don't know, these lovely ladies in pink have just snuck onto the stage because, as it says under the front there, the chef's table, uh, supported by, supporting hospitality action, which you know is our industry charity. So everybody that's come to taste the food <laughs> and be at the chef's table has given money to... What, you they know. get to taste this? Yep. You don't read your emails. <laughs> Mushroom down. Right. What are we doing with this? Saute, saute, saute on the yacht here. Yeah. <laughs> Spinach in there. Come on, man. Carry on, you bossy bros. Never this is certainly about 8 o'clock on a Saturday, are you? I'm never there at yeah, 8 o'clock. Sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, you're down the end, aren't you? <laughs> or at home. Skiving nettle. Oh, dear. Waves just hit. Force 10 up the Solent, apparently. Right, so we all know spinach is really good for us, mushrooms are really good for us, so we obviously fry them in loads of olive oil. Well, it's rapeseed oil. If there's now look, there's a proper chef coming out. Round the back here, chef. Look at the state of that. What did we bring? One small box. Look, at yeah. Is there anything left in Mr. Cooper's? <laughs> Rogan's going to be chasing you over going, what the hell's going on here? Good afternoon as well, by the way. Garrison next. He's on four, is he? This place is still not burnt down. Right. We just need to cook that down. Cook, 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 cook. Fantastic. Really good. Is that good enough for you, Chef? Yeah, a little this bit is more. About, look. A bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody know any good sous chef looking for a job? <laughs> it's got to be right. I'll remind you of that. <laughs> Customers are always wrong, aren't they? Yeah. True, Chef. Be a great job if it wasn't for the customers. <laughs> right, are you rolling out? Yeah. Right. Right, we've done that. Deep fried in the fryer here. <laughs> you didn't think I had a fryer, did you? That's for later. Right, is that ready now? Right, just rolling out the um, suet. Beautiful vegetarian suet. Oh, you've got beer now, have you? Yeah. Right, okay, yeah. Does your mum know you've got that? <sighs> Is that it? Yeah. Roll it out to what? Quarter of an inch? Oh, you're young, aren't you? Yeah. 
One centimetre. This what? Whatever the hell that is. Yeah, half a centimetre. Right. So what do you put on there now? You goat's cheese? Uh, no, this first. Oh, you're not doing it to spec. I know, because I wrote the spec. I wrote the spec. <laughs> no, I corrected it. You wrote it in chef language. <laughs> Oh, God, this cookie mark goes on, doesn't it? Right, so we're lining this up now. And what we're going to do is we're going to do... Hey. Hey, Nazi Knickers. Hey. Grumpy Draws, morning. You all right? Smiler. Right. So, goat's cheese, getting back to hell, that's where we're up to. We're going to try and create a sort of roly-poly effect, but a savoury one as well. I'll do it for you. I have to do everything. He's <sighs> got gloves on now. <sighs> oh, <laughs> force of habit, sorry. Right, we've seasoned that up now. What's, oh, that's all the bits from before, isn't it? Look at him, manoeuvre his cheese. <laughs> one for the ladies. Right, that's just a bog standard goat's cheese. There's loads of really good stuff you can use, you know, local stuff. We've got one in Cheshire, which is rolled in ash, which is really nice as well. Really good. Right. Roly, roly. This is an interesting demo, isn't it? Oh, I should switch that off now. Dan's a great roller. Look at him. Handles it with pride. So what we need to do with that now is steam. So that'll be going in the steamer, which is here next to the fryer. No wonder your GP's rubbish. We'll use that again. <laughs> right, so you get you double wrap that cling film, yep. grease proof, the stuff you threw over here that you didn't need. Oh no, it's here, look. Yeah. Oh, don't bother with that. We've got one here. <laughs> right. White wine sauce. Too. White wine sauce, right. That's it, I knew there was something, right. Don't run away now. <laughs> right, Billy Big Balls, come on. <laughs> you look quite I small you, now, I don't think you? you should come back. <laughs> oh, look, you see, they're all, they're all. <laughs> look at him, he's sweating. Just because you asked so nicely, I will. Toronto chips, who knew? Right, pot pan, onions, white wine. Classic, very simple cream sauce. Spoon, oh yeah, with a spoon round it, that's obligatory, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Should be a wooden spoon, metal on metal. What? Be all right. <laughs> Why are you going red now? I'm not even spoken to you. <laughs> this is why I was so alone in my teenage years, this. Look at this. Say hello when they go walk off. Wish my bloody first wife would have. Anyway. <laughs> fortunately, fortunately, I've nailed her feet to the floor. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? You're getting over yourself there. again, aren't you? No. He's reduced that white wine right down now, so it's almost a syrup. Got rid of the alcohol, which is the bitter stuff that we do. Oh, so you're not all in catering, you know all this rubbish. Put some cream in there, and now he's going to season it. And he's going to use white pepper, because it's a white sauce. Yeah. Aren't you, Dan? Yes. Where's your white pepper, Dan? There. Oh! <laughs> Well done. One of us said it. Let's get rid of that. Right, so white pepper, white sauces. Oh. <laughs> so what we need is obviously not to leave the metal spoon in the metal pan. Day one. He didn't go that day. <laughs> All we need on now is a reduction on that. And we can actually put some English mustard in that, some grain mustard, anything like that, just to make the vegetarian suet more in, uh, tasty. Okay? Right, we're ready to plate up, big boy. Uh, yeah, I think so. That means put the food on the plate, yeah? <laughs> Just slide all that down there. There we go. Do that so the ladies and gentlemen can see. Come on, there's lots of you to love, Dan. They want to <laughs> see it. Right, get that plated up. Get the brown sauce on there. HP sauce. <laughs> Daddy's sauce. He's doing it. He's doing Way! <laughs> you love it, don't you? Love Look it. at that. It's my favourite. Look at that. I said, back of my rugby shorts after a particularly bad game. <laughs> why? Just why? You signed it off. God, <laughs> we'll be doing bloody phones next. 
Gareth's not doing phones with you. He's quite hard, Gareth, isn't he? <laughs> I'm not sure how thick this wall is. <laughs> so, in our fryer here. Ta -da! Oh, sorry, I forgot the Serrano Chris. So, there you have. All day breakfast. Sorry, the um, <laughs> Berry Bomb with his oats. So, in there, I'll tell you what. Tell you what, get the other one out, let's cut that in half. Do that on the board so everyone yeah. can see. Do you know what, Dan? Everyone told me you were pretty good. I didn't realise how good. That's gorgeous, that. God, you've been well taught, you. Right, what we'll do is we'll cut this in half. <coughs> no substitute for size. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Like everything in life, nice oozing middle. Gorgeous. So you can see that's the effect that we get there. Yeah. Do we have to give you this now? How much did you give? Loads. <laughs> Was that worth it? That means 14 quid. <laughs> I don't know about cutlery. So that's the berry bomb, which is the sort of hash brown scotch egg type thing. What's your sauce, Danny boy? I do, don't it's creed. Nice, isn't it? Oh, that, oh yeah. Right, get your, um, get your veggie nonsense. Uh, sorry, your lovely vegetarian spring roll. No, it's not a spring roll, is it? There you go. Got it? Yeah. Look at that. So you can see what's happened now. That's been steamed and left in there. And hopefully what will happen now is, as he unwraps it, it's supposed to go like that. Oh, <laughs> ah, oh, God, blimey, that's hot. No, that's the... Oh, hang on. Forgot one bit. I just thought of this this morning. <laughs> curry sauce. Oh, black pudding curry. Absolutely. <laughs> right, come on. Andy? Andy, aren't you supposed to come over here and say how bloody good this is now? God, blimey. The juicy. It's never bothered you in 25 years. Oh, come on. Hey, I've got, got your... <laughs> You got, have you got any? There you are, that's it. Oh, and by the way, Buggerlugs, this is copyrighted before you start. <laughs> Black pudding and Lancashire cheese. There you are, go and take that to your punters there. You're lucky, aren't you? Do all your, do all your, do all your customers look after you this one? It's not shaved. <laughs> right, let's get the sauce over that. Daniel, yeah. you've flopped. Are you going cold? Is that any cutlery by? Yeah. Izzy's gone all posh. <laughs> so there we have goat's cheese, spinach, and mushroom suet. In very commas. Need some herbs. Do you not get any herbs? In the box. You've got watercress. Yeah. It's not a herb, it's a it's salad crop. Needs a bit of colour. Right, then. So there we have. There's only one thing that's going to improve that. Some herbs through the sauce would have improved it. And also, I think, to be fair, <laughs> probably the only other thing that would improve it, <laughs> an eight ounce fillet. <laughs> Got to be done. <laughs> Who wants veggie stuff? <laughs> Come on. There you go, there's your veggie, veggie suet with a fillet steak on top to make it more pleasant. <laughs> if I've offended any vegetarians, good. Oh, Maggie. Maggie, do you want this vegetarian? Yeah, yeah would you? This is, I'll put a steak on top for you. <laughs> That'll be all right. You said you like the meat on top. So what? Are those micro hurt? Are you blushing now? Like every bloody woman I speak to is blushing. Not you, obviously, is he? You're beyond blushing. There we go. Sorry, I've, I've just dropped some meat juice on the edge. Same old story. What have you got there now? What's this? 
seen this that came in yesterday. Disgraceful. <laughs> What's this? That is ice lettuce. Ice lettuce? Yeah. What's the point of that then? Fire, fire, fire under veggie suet. Pink cheese? <laughs> Where have you gone out and got a flash apron from? There you are, some green on there. Happy days. So, if any of you are around later on tonight, good afternoon, you all right? If you want to go to Beef and Pudding, um, speak to the team over there that are diligently drinking their way around the show. Dan is cooking there. Oh, you're not there tonight, are you? Because I dragged you in on your day off to day help off. me. Bail yeah. me out. Sorry, yeah, help me. <laughs> Um, look at the website, New Moon Company, loads of beautiful sites. The Liverpool site opens end of May. The old blind school, bet you can't guess what it used to be. Absolutely gorgeous Victorian building, 300 seats in there, plenty of room for everyone. Thank you very much. He's been Dan, he's done all the work because he's good. I've been Dave, the gob. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Gobby Chef, who knew? And um, thank you for sponsoring the money. What, are you, you got cutlery now? You need it back at the end of the yeah. Well done, Dan. That was top job. No well done. Thank you very much. Thank you to everyone here. It's been a fantastic NRB, apart from the fruit and veg, but you can't have everything. <laughs> we do use noons every day when, when they turn up. <laughs> oh, and if you want a box of finger limes, Maggie's your girl. How much were they a box? 50 quid. How's that holiday home in Barbados? All right, now are you? <laughs> She'll say, right, you, you can pay a bloody month extra, you bugger. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Thank you very much for having us here at the NRB. We love the NRB. We love Manchester. We love the North because it's the best. Thank you very much indeed. Bye. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Mooney, once more. Uh, ever vibrant as, as, as ever. Um, thank you so much for giving up your time coming to do that. And uh, ladies, you're getting on all right with the food? You're unable to speak, I can see. Uh, it's beautiful. I asked you at an inappropriate moment there. Um, folks, we're going to tidy down, and uh, we've got one final session at 4 o'clock with Gareth from Mr. Cooper's. So if you've not caught a demonstration yet, 4 o'clock will be our last session here in Chef Live. <laughs>